Hello, good evening. This is uh, Mohammad Mohsin Ali, so Department of EC from VBAT College. Actually, I have uh, eight years of experience in teaching field. I used to teach many subjects like uh, electromagnetics, uh, antenna and wave propagation (AWP), next uh, analog electronics, uh, microprocessors. In this, uh, EMTEL is uh, one of the subject. Uh, so, in second year, second sem for EC people. Okay, this subject basically for as per as uh, JN2H syllabus, there are five units are available. Uh, so the first unit uh, actually the name itself uh, electromagnetics and transmission lines. So in this five units, uh, the total uh, chapter uh, syllabus is like this. The first unit is completely de dedicated to uh, electric fields. That means completely what is charge, how the uh, field is uh, created by that charge, particular charge that is in static in nature. So that is the first unit deals with the electric electrostatic fields, and the second chapter is uh, deals with the magnetostatic fields. Whenever there is a, a steady current, that is the DC current is flowing through a conductor, it produces a magnetic field surrounded by it. So that will gives a uh, amount of magnetic field. That means the second chapter dedicates with the magnetostatic fields, and the third chapter is deals with the both the combination of electric and magnetic fields, electromagnetic fields, and the how a electromagnetic wave is propagated through different mediums like uh, uh, dialectics or conductor medium so what is the power flow what is the output power we are going to calculate all those things and the these are the first three units related to electromagnetic fields and the last two units uh, fourth and fifth chapters is completely dedicated to transmission lines so the transmission line is a part uh, so the transmission lines basically is nothing but a so from source to destination so whenever if i want to send a message from source to destination there are different types of mediums are available in order to connect and in order to transfer the information from one point to another point so in this case so the transmission there are different types of mediums are available like uh, wave guides uh, free space uh, free space next uh, optical fiber and transmission lines like a pair of wires as well as the uh, uh, coaxial cables. In this, uh, there are uh, in coming semesters like uh, in 3 1, there is a antenna wave propagation which completely deals with your uh, free space as a medium. So, therefore, that is uh, clear. And uh, wave guides as a medium, that is a uh, 4 1, there is a subject called microwave engineering. So, in that, you are going to study about your wave guides. So, therefore, it is uh, fixed in that uh, position. And the next uh, optical fiber communication is a uh, elective subject. So, therefore, that also uh, completed. And uh, uh, part of that, uh, your coaxial cables and pair of wires in that particular session, that means uh, transmission lines from one point to second point, we are going to send the uh, signals in the form of voltage and current that we are going to discuss in the uh, fourth uh, transmission lines. Transmission line is nothing but basically uh, from source to destination or from uh, input to output or from <coughs> Uh, source to a load uh, in that particular uh, we are going to connect one uh, transmission line either a pair of wires or coaxial cable in that so how we, uh, voltage and current waves which are propagated and what is the, your output so what are the properties and uh, whether attenuation is available or uh, how losses will occur everything we are going to study and at a different different frequencies so basically your uh, electromagnetics is uh, one of the typical and toughest subject among all the subjects but it is very clearly if you concentrate uh, uh, very simple it is uh, mathematically okay and very simple easy to analyze and easy to understand only the things if you are concentrate if you show attention towards our subject the first point uh, for our subject uh, if i want to discuss about five units now so uh, the first unit is electric uh, electro uh, uh, electric fields uh, so electrostatic fields in that particularly used uh, discussed about i'll uh, give some uh, important topics from each and every subject uh, each and every uh, a unit so that you can easy to concentrate on that so you can easy to pass without any backlog so the first unit so for that electrostatic fields you concentrate on the gauss law basically gauss law it has a what uh, basically it deals with the d electric flux density and also <coughs> This Gauss law has four applications. So that is for Gauss law is applicable for uh, continuous symmetric charges. If it is asymmetric charge distribution, we generally go for the Coulomb's law. So in the first unit, the important topics are the like uh, Gauss law and its application. Next, capacitance. The two, there are three types of capacitors are available. One parallel plate capacitor. Second, you are coaxial capacitor, uni, uh, spherical capacitor. There are three capacitors. That the first unit complete deals with the electric field intensity, electric flux density. 
these are the topics you can concentrate coulomb's law gauss law next capacitors coming to second unit magnetostatic fields you are going to discuss about your what ampere circuit law and faraday's law these are the two topics you just concentrate so and also along with this there are different boundary conditions are available from if the signal is uh, propagating from one medium to another medium in that uh, in between the two mediums there is an interface or boundary at which how your electromagnetic wave are simply a field how a signal is propagated whether it is a reflected or refracted that depends on that so there are uh, that means uh, components like uh, electric field intensity electric flux density magnetic field intensity magnetic flux density so there are different types of uh, mediums that are available so in the second chapter you are going to concentrate on the ampere circuit law that is one of the very very important and second one is the biot sabert's law okay that third one is a faraday's law and fourth is the boundary conditions between that and last the fifth one i am talking about the maxwell equations so there are four maxwell equations are there so one from the gauss law second from the ampere circuit law next one magnetic fields and fourth one the from the faraday's law these are the four maxwell equations which are very very important uh, for electromagnetic waves and from that we can go for the next uh, semester on versus the subjects which are wireless communication or whatever it may be the subject so where uh, our uh, electromagnetic basics which are studying right now in the class uh, that means uh, topic which are helpful for you your in your future also and the third unit completely describes about your mediums in that uh, the important topics are like this uh, so good uh, perfect dielectric and perfect conductor low c dielectric for that what are the constants are there what is the propagation constant what is the phase velocity what is the uh, group velocity and these are the parameters what is the pointing vector theorem what is mean by polarization next uh, what are the different topics like brewster angle total internal reflection critical angle so if you concentrate these topics it's more than sufficient in the third unit and coming to fourth the transmission lines so there are the important topics like so what is our transmission line equation that is the first important and second one is what is a loading line so what are the different types of loading lines are there that is the second important question third important questions is nothing but so what is meant by phase velocity group velocity and also the fourth important is the lossless transmission line and distortion lens transmission line for that how you are going to calculate what is the parameters like r l g c these are the primary parameters okay that you are going to see so these are the important questions from the fourth unit and the last fifth unit is completely about the sub matching techniques which are very important single step and double step and next uh, smith charts what are the application properties and based on that problems very simple and easy next uh, impedance transformations is the topic so where you are uh, making your transmission line the line will be the lambda by 2 lambda by 4 lambda by 8 like that how you are making the impedance transformation from one source to load basically if i want to talk about the complex topics uh, in emtel is a completely mathematical oriented subject so if you are very good at your uh, vector calculus you are very good at your electromagnetics so uh, that uh, uh, that kind of relationship is available so uh, therefore i what i suggest you know so better to concentrate on the mathematics simple mathematics like integration differentiation vector calculus more than sufficient to understand and analyze your uh, electromagnetics so whenever uh, the topic which are related now that you uh, taken as an example with the live example so that you can understand the the complete picture scenario in your real time uh, the main important is that uh, so the question paper is uh, i uh, continuously watching the question papers from the last uh, four five years onwards the questions the the way of asking the questions in the exam point a uh, pattern is uh, simple very simple so just uh, whatever be the important topics uh, just now i discussed about gauss law ampere's law faraday's law and maxwell equations next to uh, transmission line equations smith chart applications uh, whatever be the topics important topics now just you revise two to three times you do the hard work and you can understand the topics so that it's more than sufficient to pass also no need to worry and no need to hesitate also also uh, in order to pass in your exam just to concentrate on the topics which are uh, it is looks look wise it's too difficult but when you read it is uh, so simple and easy and if you are understanding the beauty of your entire nature is in emtel only so i can say that only the preparation point of view you can see the constant continuously repeated questions you can that is more than sufficient to pass first second third fourth fifth unit among these uh, five units so first two units you better to prefer your uh, sadiku textbook it's more than sufficient simple and easy manner you can uh, get all the information so next for the uh, 
third fourth fifth units generally preferred is the mallikarjuna okay it's good for up to your point of view student point of view if you need more information you can refer the another uh, some standard test books also um, and all the best for your exams uh, if you want uh, more information uh, continuously watch you can get all the information all each and every topic in detailed manner Thank you.